In this video, we will try to solve another numerical that was asked in JAM Economics paper of 2021. The question is, uh, in a small open economy, the desired savings and desired domestic investment R is follows, where R superscript W is world real interest rate. We are given the saving function and investment function, where savings is equal to 10 plus 100 times R and investment is equal to 15 minus 100 times R. If a world interest rate is 3%, the current account balance in equilibrium would be, so we have to find the integer here, okay? First of all, we know that uh, the current account in the balance of payment uh, is the difference between what a country produces, produces uh, and uh, what the country spends, okay? So, I will write here uh, current account. So current account uh, is the difference uh, difference between um, what what a country uh, what a country uh, produces produces that is uh, the country's GNP gross national product and what it um, what it spends what it spends by spending we mean the total consumption that is total consumption plus uh, investment Okay, this is the different definition of current account. So we will first uh, derive the formula for the current account. As we know uh, that GNP of a country that is gross national product is equal to that is equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government expenditure plus net exports. This is the identity for uh, gross national uh, product okay uh, where uh, this very part denotes uh, the domestic spending domestic spending or the absorption okay or we can write this formula like this we can write it like n x that is net net exporters is equal to g n p minus uh, c plus I plus G. We just uh, uh, manipulated this very identity to get this uh, very uh, relationship. Okay. Now we can further write uh, NX is equal to net, net exports is equal to that is equal to we can write as G N P G N P minus minus C minus G. Okay minus i so i have just uh, uh, transformed uh, some variables in this uh, case okay now this very part if you can visualize this very part uh, is actually the savings this is this is savings this is the savings and this is the investment because a savings is equal to so I will write here savings a savings is equal to income income in this case it is GNP minus expenditure 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 is a consumption expenditure and government expenditure uh, government exp uh, expenditure minus this investment okay so we got the relationship that means we can write nx is equal to in place of this gnp that is say uh, that is income minus saving income minus uh, expenditure uh, we can write s minus i okay then the relation tells us that current account balance is equal to that is current account balance would be equal to that is ca I will write CA is equal to current account is equal to 
I can write it as our current account or CA is equal to so I will rub this current account uh, means NX uh, should be equal to this current account is equal to NX which is equal to savings minus investment okay that means current account balance should be equal to this very relationship now we can write here current account balance is simply savings minus investment our savings function is given as so i will write i will write our savings function is given as uh, 10 plus 100 or the rate of uh, interest is 3 percent so i will write 3 percent minus the investment is given as investment function is 15 minus so i will write uh, 15 minus 100 into the rate of interest is given as 3 percent so i will write here 3 percent okay that means this is 10 plus and uh, 3 percent of 100 is 3 minus uh, we have this 15 15 minus minus is plus we have uh, three percent of hundred is three so we can write here this is three when calculating this is uh, 10 minus 15 is minus for you minus five plus six we get minus five plus six that means c a b that is current account balance in equilibrium would be minus five plus six is equal to one okay we got the positive value for the current account that means here the number should be one this means if we get the positive current account balance sorry positive current account that measures the portion of a country's savings invested uh, abroad okay if we got the negative value here that means the portion of domestic investment finance uh, financed by the foreign or uh, foreigners savings okay so since we got here the positive value this means positive uh, current account means or it measures the portion of a country's savings invested abroad i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you